Now, look at how many businesses have written letters to, for example, yeah. Commission President von der Leyen, complaining about reversals in the Green Deal because they have they made the to, investments yeah. to mm -hmm. make that transition happen. So you shouldn't disincentivize that. And you should you, you need to show the costs of going backwards. And that's a very interesting a point because we spoke to Roman Pardo. He represents the Cambridge Institute for Sustainability. And he actually speaks on behalf of companies like IKEA and Amazon. We can take a listen to his take on these targets. Iberdrola, who are investing 47 billion euros in renewable energy between 2023 and 2025, or on the demand side, IKEA, which is working with its suppliers to use renewable energy throughout this value chain. So it's really practices like this that a robust target will encourage. Climate action yields competitiveness benefits. The global market for clean technologies is worth trillions of euros. It will become exponentially worth a lot more as we move forward in the future. So we really see that as a business opportunity in, in rather than a cost for our businesses. So Roman Pardo making the case, the business case uh, for e clean tech, Tommy. Exactly, and where, where we should go. Uh, 